All right, what's up guys? So um, we're 10 days out from the Pennsylvania archery uh, opener um, and we're doing some very, very late prepping. Um, I don't normally come out this late uh, before season, this close to season, but we were setting up over, we had some cameras set up over a spot. We weren't really getting a lot of bucks and then all of a sudden in the last like three weeks, we've been just getting hammered with tons of nice box regularly daylight pictures um two actually there's like four nice box that i would i would definitely shoot um but i never picked out a tree or anything for the saddle and i don't want to do that in the dark so we're going to run in here real quick just do a speed tour i'm going to pull all my other cameras um besides i'm going to put one more down by the scrape um, and then I, I don't want to be tempted when I'm in there, you know, this season to go check those other cameras. So I'm just pulling them. I know that I'm getting bucks in this area. Um, but yeah, so we picked today because it's pretty much poured down rain, uh, last night and today. It's not supposed to stop till, till this evening. So I'm sure those bucks this evening are going to come in and hit them scrapes once the rain's over. Um, another reason why I wanted to come in here when it's raining is it keeps the scent down. The, our scent will wash away a lot faster and I'm gonna get dressed right here at the truck so I don't have any scent with me at all I brought some Evercom with me the um, herd scent so I'm just gonna put that on my boots just as a precaution I don't want to leave any scent whatsoever in here because these mature bucks if they catch our scent they'll be gone especially in these like higher pressured areas so all right we're gonna get dressed and uh, Head on in there. I probably won't film a whole lot because I want to try to be quiet, but I want to try to be quick. I'll film once we get up there if we see any sign, um, but I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. So if we get anything on the other cameras that aren't cell cameras, I'll, um, I'll let you guys know. So let's get rolling.
gonna sneak right over here, right over here, so with that other camera side. So we're gonna pull that one over here. And this other camera, there's a ton of rubs leading right down this road, just like how they were last year. So we just pulled that camera there. We're gonna head out. Um, we had a couple decent bucks in here. A lot of acorns in here, so they're definitely gonna be in here. There's a lot of does. Um, so I'm definitely looking around for a tree that I could get set for my saddle. Now a lot of these deer aren't running this path. So how do we do this one right there? They're not running that path. They're actually running this path up through there and then there's some running over there. So what I might do is you see they're walking right past that I need to tag that tree there. Let's see. That's what I mean by tagging these trees is all I'm doing is I'm putting a little tack on here. There's not a stand or anything, no steps to know this. So I'm uh, putting these tacks on it so I'll be able to find that exact tree in the morning and then uh, then I'll mark it on Onyx too. Sorry for all the jiggling. I'm trying to get my phone out. And then what I'll do is I'll just check my camera here. So I'll wait till it sets. And I'll go to tools at a waypoint. Tree stand. Now I always mark my tree stand blue and save. And there it is. So we're down in here. This is great. Got my truck camera right there. I think I didn't miss a bar. See up there, I stuck two little screw-in steps in case I need to come around the other side of the tree because this this spot how they're coming in it's a little it's a little weird because technically if I'm up there I'm almost got a uh, they can almost skyline me. So I need to have a spot where I can come around the other side of the tree. Um, I'd like to get up in there higher, but there's no way I could shoot down there with all this stuff. But 
I might trim some branches here and that's it but yeah so that's pretty much it um not a ton of sign down in here like I thought there would be there's some rubs and stuff but that's not a whole lot so we'll see but um yeah so we got that done I'm not very high at all I'm like tw maybe 20 feet maybe not even that I wish I could get up higher but just won't be able to see um all this real thick stuff down through here that, that keeps me hidden and I think I think that's how the deer most of them are coming is this way or straight up over the hill and then some of them are were coming in behind here they're, they're coming everywhere through here so it's kind of hard to set up um, but yeah so ho hopefully hopefully this will work all right guys so it's been a little longer than what I wanted to but went ahead and got the trail camera set up over this little scrape here and uh, we're gonna get out of here we're not gonna go back up the way we came just because those bucks were coming in the evening up top so we're just gonna sneak down through here get on this lower road and, uh, and get out so. so just as I'm walking back this road just don't jump two days that we're down over the hill here At least I won't be in here ever again until I'm hunting. I'm going to come from the top, so... That looks like a one-off, so I can see you're still out there. Okay. I'm just going to keep moving. I just want to get out of here. It is freaking pouring down rain. I don't even know if you can hear me. But. It's a little wet. 